Hello there guys, this is a quick test of the Rode PSA1 boom arm for your microphone. Uh, this is a very popular product among podcasters and for a very good reason. It's a fantastic studio arm uh, and it offers pretty much every feature you need at a very attractive price point. I think it's about $100 right now on Amazon, so it's a fantastic deal. Now this video is not meant to be a full review. Uh, the, the, the full review of the arm will be on Tools and Toys and you can check it out there. Uh, this is just to show you the main benefits of having a boom arm versus a traditional, uh, you know, tabletop stand that usually is included with some microphones. If you have any experience with microphones, you probably know that most entry-level models are condenser microphones, like the Blue Yeti, which is one of the most popular ones. And these little microphones usually include uh, little tabletop stands or even built-in uh, stands of some kind, like the like the Yeti, precisely. Uh, and that's fine. That's a great way to get you started. Uh, but sooner or later, uh, people, most people mm, are going to want to upgrade, uh, not only for better audio quality, but also for better comfort and uh, better ergonomics. And that's where boom arms come in, right? Uh, if you upgrade, for example, to a dynamic microphone, which is uh, the way some people uh, go, uh, there's something about dynamic microphones that's very important. They usually provide better sound quality because they are much better at isolating background noise uh, from the room. So if, for example, you have uh, a noisy neighbor or a neighbor whose dog is just barking nonstop, chances are it's not going to show up in your final recording unless it's the noisiest dog ever. <laughs> but if, if it's a, just a, a regular neighbor, normal dog, you should be okay, right? And that's why most people tend to go with those microphones because let's face it, uh, most podcasters record in their own homes and our homes are rarely you know studio like environments as far as soundproofing goes and, and and all that so having a microphone that lets you record in a normal uh, room it's a it's a great advantage right so that's why people go with those and and the problem with dynamic microphones is that because they are more aggressive in the way they pick up your voice you can run into a very common problem, which is that if I, for example, turn and address you guys, you're, you should be able to notice right now that the microphone is having a much harder time picking up my voice because I'm not speaking directly into it. And that's just a that slight difference. I'm still fairly close to it, but the fact that I'm not speaking right into it uh, is definitely noticeable, right? If I, once again, start talking into the microphone, um, you should hear me. Uh, once again, um, perfectly cleanly and, and just a lot better. So technique is very important with dynamic microphones. And in order to be consistent about the way you speak uh, and the distance that you keep from the microphone, having a boom arm is a much better way to go, right? Because if, for example, I want to lean forward a little bit, I can just take the microphone with me and maintain the proper distance, the proper angle. I can even change this. And I'm still talking to you, even though my posture has changed completely, right? And if I want to reclaim back a little bit, I can just take the arm with me. By the way, that sound was the chair, not the arm. And that's a, a much more comfortable way to spend one hour, an hour and a half, two hours, even three hours recording, which is what some podcasts uh, typically last, right? Now, if I address this camera, I can just take... The microphone with me I can even angle it and I'm still and I'm, I'm just now talking to you guys over there but I'm still keeping proper mic uh, proper distance from the microphone and I'm still keeping proper technique right which is a great this is a great great uh, a much more comfortable way to record your shows altogether and another great thing of boom good boom arms like this one is that they are completely silent so if I stop talking and just move or move the microphone around, you shouldn't be able to hear anything. Let's take a look at that. Right, this was a little bit exaggerated. I mean, those uh, movements are not something you would probably do on a regular show. But it's nice to know that you can. If, if you ever need to, you can. And uh, the, the key is not to be able to make such large adjustments, but just to be able to casually move, because over time, it's it's that's what we do. People tend to move. We tend to 
change our posture to avoid, you know, neck strain and shoulder, uh, shoulder fatigue and all of that, the, the, all those ergonomic problems that can appear if you're hunched over a tabletop stand for 90 minutes uh, once or twice a week. That's, that's, that's not nice. So having a boom arm, much better way to go. Ergonomically, it's uh, really uh, a much more comfortable uh, setup. And as far as boom arms go, I definitely like this one. This is very well made. It's, it's affordable. It has every feature you need. Um, it, it, there are other studio boom arms that are a lot more expensive and they don't offer any functional improvements over this one, right? So I'm really happy with, um, with how this one's working for me. And I think most people are, and that's why it's such a popular product. So I definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out the full review of the Rode PSA1 boom arm on Tools and Toys. I hope you enjoy it and see you around.